Yo, what's up? So for the past year or so now, there has been this one particular filter that's really grown on me and I probably take it with me on almost every single shoot nowadays. And what I'm talking about is the black pro mist filter. Now you guys have probably heard about me talk about this in some of my previous videos, but essentially what this little filter does is that it helps softens your image and also blooms your highlights while also raising your black levels a bit, which I think really helps to take off that digital sharpness that we get in our modern day cameras nowadays and really gives our image a little bit more character and that vintage feel to it. The effect is so subtle that most of the times you guys probably wouldn't even notice it unless you were actually looking out for it. You know, but what is the point of getting a softer image? I thought the sharper it was, the better the image. And while I used to think that when I first started out, the more and more I get into cinematography, the more I realize that a lot of filmmakers and cinematographers actually prefer to shoot on more vintage, older lenses just for all those little imperfections and subtleties inside of it. You see with our modern day cameras and our lenses like the Sony a7 III and 24 millimeter G Master over here, the image that we're getting out of this is almost too perfect. It's too sharp. It looks too clinical. The image that we're capturing from our camera is just exactly as we see with our own two eyes, which is, you know, it's great for shots like this, particularly when I'm just talking to the camera, when you don't want any crazy artifacts or aberrations or weird distortions. But when you're working on a creative film and you want more of a unique look and more character to your shots, then that's why a lot of cinematographers and filmmakers actually use those vintage lenses because of all the, you know, the muddiness and dirtiness inside of that lens, all those little imperfections. And in my opinion, I think that's just what gives your shots a little bit more character and that, and that old school vintage feel to it. And that is particularly the reason why a lot of cinematographers actually really like shooting on anamorphics because, you know, you're getting a ton of crazy flares in there. The chromatic aberration is crazy, uh, not to mention the distortion. I mean, it's not really a perfect lens as you know, it has a bunch of weird uh, things going on inside it. But I think that's what makes it so special in the first place. That's why we enjoy it so much because of all those um, imperfections inside of that lens. And as whereas our modern day lenses, you know, you're not really getting any of these crazy different effects. Really what these modern day lenses are aiming for is just to get the most perfect image as it is, you know, like just, just as it is. So while this filter will not give you blue streaks and chromatic aberration and, uh, ton of distortion it will help take off that digital edge to your camera and your lenses and also blooms your highlights this filter probably never leaves my lens i use it for everything including photography i actually shoot photography with a promise filter and i find that it helps give my images a more softer and dreamy glowy look personally i like to use the quarter stop i find that the quarter stop is about perfect for me any more than i think i'm I'm getting a little bit too much of that glow effect. But hey, maybe, maybe you want that. Maybe you want more of that glow effect. Maybe you want that super dreamy look. Um, but personally for me, I use the quarter stop. And you know, none of this is really groundbreaking. I'm pretty sure filmmakers and cinematographers have been using this black promise filter for years and years as far as I know. But um, I actually had a lot of you guys asking me if I do use one and um, I thought I'd actually answer it today. And uh, yes, yes, I do. And I really do love it. So if you guys do want to see this promise filter in action, I actually did use it in my last video where I shot a Nike spec ad. I kept this on in front of my lens for like probably the majority of the shoot. I never really took it off. So if you guys do want to see this in action, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments if you're going to pick one of these up. And also, I want to know if you guys are more into my videography content or more of my photography content. So. I'm constantly trying to balance between the two and uh, I kind of want to hear some of your input and some of your feedback on which, you know, content you guys want to see more, more photography or more video or just, you know, both. Really interesting to me and I want to hear your guys' feedback, so that would be great. If you guys did enjoy this video and you guys want to see more content like this and if you're new, do not forget to subscribe, that would mean a lot. With that being said, I know today's video is pretty short, but uh, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, more videos on the way, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.